Their names were scrawled small in the corners of Charlie Hebdo's outrageous, even offensive covers, but their images made them giants of satire in the European cartooning world, penning reputations for defiance and provocation. These men, this woman, died for the idea which they had of France, that is to say, freedom. Twelve people slaughtered in a terrorist attack on Charlie Hebdo's staff, including some of France's most prominent cartoonists. And in response, thousands raised their own pens, inking memorials to the fallen. Stéphane Charbonnet went by Chab. The editor was unafraid to mark his name on the magazine's most controversial comics. Uh, without freedom of speech, uh, we are dead. In 2012, he explained his passion for expression to ABC News. Uh, I prefer to die than uh, uh, live like uh, a rat. His colleague Jean Cabou was the magazine's lead cartoonist and one of its original founders. Along with Cabou, fellow founder Georges Walensky was killed when gunmen reportedly called out the cartoonists by name. Walensky had been drawing professionally since the 1960s and briefly held the post of Charlie Hebdo, editor-in-chief. Social media now flooded with honors for the fallen cartoonist, perhaps none more wrenching than this Instagram photo of an empty art table posted by Walensky's daughter Elsa. Dad is gone, not Walensky, she wrote. But for many, these artists are not gone. Their work continues their message. We will go on and we'll make an exhibition at the City Hall with all the most fa fa famous news cover they made in the past. So we will keep on fighting. Also killed Wednesday, police officer Ahmed Marabe, a French Muslim. Also, Sharp's bodyguard, Franck Brassolero. Their comrades now marking the loss with black lines across their badges. Leur sacrifice. Their sacrifice should remind us of uh, daily heroism. They died defending freedoms and liberties, like the liberty symbolized in this gift to the United States from our brothers and sisters in France.